and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. Today I'm going to talk about how to reference an external Maven repository from one of your projects so that you can resolve dependencies stored in that repository. As you might remember throughout the last episodes we talked about Maven deployment, uh, so how to put, uh, put a development version into some a Maven repository of your choice, for example, your own uh, privately owned uh, repository on your website. And we talked about how you can release your project, which essentially does the same, deploying your Maven artifacts to a repository, only it does this with a release version instead of a development version. So um, what I showed you is how I deployed and released my game loop project. And as you can see, in the Maven repository on my website, there's now the 001 version of my game loop project deployed. And nevertheless, the game loop, um, the game of life project down here still has an error saying there's a missing artifact, so you cannot reference this game loop project right now because the project does not know yet, or Maven does not know yet, uh, the location of this Maven repository to resolve the dependency from. So um, I'm going to copy here the, the URL of this repository, whoops, like this. And then I'm going to add this URL to the POM XML file of my Game of Life project. Unfortunately, there's no UI support for that, so I'm going to have to do that manually, but it's really not that difficult. Somewhere on the top level, so below the project tag, I'm going to add another tag called repositories and below that an entry for a repository. I'm going to call that repository, it needs an ID, um, let's developer.maven.releases and I'm going to give that a URL which is the URL I just copied. And then of course since uh, I'm now referring to the release version I have to specify here the release version 0012. And if I save this now, M2E is in the background automatically resolving the dependency, so you can see the error just disappeared. And if I now run a Maven test build, for example, you will see that this succeeds because it successfully uh, resolved the uh, release version against my repository. Okay, that's already everything I want to show you today. I hope you could take something from it. If so, give me a thumbs up. Um, also, if you just liked the episode and knew this before. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, just send me a message, drop me a comment, let me know what you think, and hope to see you next time.